Hey everyone, it's Nate here from FlyPlugins.com and welcome to this new tutorial video for some user progress reset features we've added in the most recent version of WP Courseware. And we actually have three different methods of resetting user progress. So we're gonna go through each one of those in detail within this tutorial video. Now the first one we're gonna be discussing is how to reset an individual user to a specific point within an individual course. Uh, so if you wanna reset one user to the beginning of a uh, particular module or a particular course entirely, uh, you can do that with this method. So we're first gonna go on over to our user screen within our WordPress dashboard. And as you can see, we have our current users in this uh, WordPress installation uh, with their training course progress meters for the courses that they are individually enrolled for. So you can see we have, uh, we have a few accounts here where we have some progress uh, through various courses. And what we're first gonna take a look at, as I said, is resetting one user to a specific point within one course. And we're gonna go ahead and work with this uh, account that we're logged in as right now, our Fly Admin account in this test environment. And you can see that this user has made it 100% of the way through the beginning PHP course that we've created. Uh, so what I wanna do is I want to reset this user uh, to a specific point within that course. So if we head on over to the right hand side of the screen, you're gonna notice a new drop down tree menu here that will allow us to select uh, individual points within any of the courses that this account, this user account is currently enrolled for, any, uh, any course that this student has access to basically. So again, we're gonna be working with this beginning PHP course and we'll just start at the top here. We could select the beginning PHP option to reset this user to the beginning uh, of the course entirely. Uh, so if we select that, you can see we have a pop-up that is now displayed that asks us if we want to reset the progress of this user and it cannot be undone. We'll just cancel that for now. You're gonna get that pop-up message for any of the options you select. As you can see, you can choose to reset this user to the beginning of a module. Uh, you can also choose to reset their progress to a particular unit within a module, meaning if you selected unit two in module two, their progress would only now be recorded up to the end of unit one in module two. Uh, so they'll be reset, uh, their progress will be completely wiped out from the database uh, to any point, back to any point you select. And that cannot be undone. Uh, their progress, their uh, quiz answers and scores, all of that is going to be wiped clean and they will be able to uh, start over from that point. Um, so if we go on over to the front of our site, now we're taking a look at the course outline for that beginning PHP course on the front end now. Again, we are logged in as the user that we were discussing uh, on the back end. And as you can see, if we scroll down through the course outline, uh, this student has completed every unit within every module. So I'm gonna flip on over again to our admin side. And what I'm gonna do is uh, just sort of arbitrarily actually, I'm just gonna reset this user to the beginning of module two. So any of the units in module one will remain as completed. Any quiz scores will remain in the grade book for the instructor or the administrator. Uh, again, you can review our uh, tutorial video on the grade book using the grade book to find out more about that. But we're gonna go ahead and select module two here. We're gonna get the pop up and we're gonna click OK. Now the page is going to refresh. We get a, uh, a notice at the top of our screen in yellow that the user progress has been reset. And if we scroll down to that account, we can now see that the progress meter has been moved from 100% for the beginning PHP course to 15%. So let's flip on back over to the front end and take a look at the course outline. 
Okay, so we're still logged in as this particular student account for the uh, beginning PHP course. We just refresh the page, and as you can see now, the units within module one have been completed, and the first unit within module two has not. So we won't go through uh, flipping back and forth between the back end and the front end course outlines for all of these examples. I just wanted to show you this first one just so that you could see what happens on the front end for the student's course outline when that progress is reset. So the next option we are going to discuss is how to reset progress to a specific point within a course for one or more users at once. And as you can see, our second and third users within this screen, Chris and Chuck, uh, they currently have progress within the beginning PHP course. Uh, Chris is at 15%, Chuck is at 10%. So if you would like to select multiple students within a course uh, to reset at once uh, without resetting everyone in the course, we can simply select these two users. We'll put a check by their name or their user uh, username. We'll go up to the top of the screen. We see we have a drop down box. Again, reset user progress to the beginning of. And again, very similar to what you saw before. Uh, we can simply just use this to reset these selected accounts to a particular point within a course. So uh, we can select to reset both Chris and Chuck to the beginning of the uh, PHP course, and we can click reset. Again, we get the uh, confirmation dialog, uh, letting us know that this is uh, not reversible. And we click OK. Once again, we have the confirmation at the top of our screen that user progress has been reset. And now if we go back down to the point uh, where these two users are located within the screen, we can see that both have been reset to the very beginning of the PHP course, which is what we selected to do. Uh, so that's gonna allow you to pick and choose uh, which user accounts within a course uh, you wanna reset uh, without having to do each of them individually and move them all to the same point. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is how to reset user progress for every student enrolled for a course. Now this one is located within the settings for the individual training course for which you uh, would like to reset progress. So we go on over to the left hand side of our screen, hover over training courses. Uh, we go to our training courses listing screen. And then what we're gonna do is find the course that we want to reset, bulk reset progress for. And again, it's gonna be this beginning PHP course here, the second one on our screen. We're gonna go on over to the edit course settings page. And if we go to the very end, uh, we're gonna see that we have a tab here titled course access tools. And the first option here states reset your user progress for this course. So if we click this button, uh, anyone who is enrolled for this course, any of our WordPress accounts, which have been given access to this particular course, they will all be reset to the very beginning of the course. So um, you can see that the message here uh, states that it deletes all grade data too. We discussed that, all of these options do so. Um, and so this is one to be very, very careful with, uh, but it is in there for your convenience if you want to reset all course users to the very beginning of a course. And again, you're gonna get the dialog box um, because it's, it's a, a feature that is going to execute a database change that cannot be undone. Uh, so you wanna be very, very careful with this one. But that's how you're going to uh, reset course progress for one student in a course, more than one student in a particular course, or everyone within a course. So we hope you find these functions useful. Let us know if you have any questions uh, through the support desk, and we thank you for watching.